Not everyone's agreed to the moot. I've been here long enough to know that Nords aren't always sensible. We follow our hearts. So what? Ulfric gets this crown and then suddenly he's High King? No, it's not a... Simple as that. But the dragon... First. And we gave it to Ellison. In the absence of the moot, it would further legitimize her claim. Perhaps. I'm entrusting you with what resources I can spare. But I'm warning you, if this turns out to be a waste of time and men... It won't be a waste. Make sure you take the auxiliary here. You can send him back when you get there and find nothing but old bones and cobwebs. The Stone Fist's no fool. He's found the crown, but we'll get to it first. Controlling the pale gives Ulfric a port down and takes the pressure off of Windhelm. But it's only a Welcome matter to the Legion, of time Auxiliary. before it's back. Listen up. Hands. Welcome to the Legion, Auxiliary. Listen up. Ulfric's right-hand man, Galmar Stonefist, has located what he believes is the final resting place of the jacket crown. We're going to make sure he doesn't get his hands on it. The rest of my men are already assembling outside Corvinjun. I'll meet you there as soon as I finish up here. Don't wait for me. Get to Corvinjun as soon as you're ready. I'll meet you there. Logvia, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric no. challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Very well, Rogvir. Bow your head. On this day, I go to Sarmengard. something
traitor right up to the end. Oh, I guess it's all over. Traitor I right expected... up to the end. Oh, I don't know what I expected. He died well. <laughs> Good riddance to bad rubbish, I say. I think I expect more. He should have drawn it out some more. He deserved a slower death. Been like this. A traitor right up to the end. A traitor right up to the end. Yes? I have one question for you. Light, medium, or heavy? Tag, you're in. Can't catch me. They don't make finer steel anywhere else. If they, now that. Welcome to the Legion. I'm glad you're with us. I don't like the looks of this place, and I'm not talking about the Stormcloaks. These old ruins, they don't want us here. The Ancient Ones. Better left alone. But never mind all that. We're the Emperor's soldiers. We'll do our duty no matter what stands in our way, right? What's the situation? Stormcloaks were already camped out around the entrance when we got here. They don't know we're here yet. Well, that's something, at least. Looks like the damned rebels got here first. No matter. We have the element of surprise. Prepare to move out. Follow me. Listen up, Legionnaires. Those Stormcloaks are here for the same reason we are. Ulfric, the Pretender, wants that crown. But we're not going to let them have it. I realize some of you may know men on the other side. But remember this. They are the enemy now and will not hesitate to end your lives either. General Tullius is counting on us to bring back the Jagged Crown and that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's show these rebels what real soldiers look like. never knew what hit them. But don't underestimate the Stormcloaks. Many are Legion veterans. They may be traitors, but they know how to fight. We had the advantage of surprise this time, but don't expect it to last. Let's move out!
You two, stay and guard the entrance. We don't want any storm cloak reinforcements taking us by surprise. Everyone else, move me.
underground should be around here somewhere. Spread out. Keep your eyes open. Alfred will want to take Whiterun from us, but we will hold fast. We can't give the Rebellion free reign through the center of Skyrim. Hjalmarch is an important buffer zone between the rebel forces and the capital. Ulfric will try to break through at some point. Excellent work, soldier. I have to admit, I had my doubts it even existed. Did you run into any trouble? That's what I like to hear. I'll get the full report from Legged Ricca. Now then. I need someone I can trust to deliver a message of great import to Jarl Balgruf of Whiterun. We have it on good authority that Ulfric has raised enough men to attack the city of Whiterun. Jarl, however, refuses the Legion's support. This missive should convince him. Be aware, soldier. These documents contain sensitive intelligence for the Jarl's eyes only. Have your orders, soldier. Thank 
Red. The battlefield is full of distraction. Oh, did you need something? Yes. Huh? Thank you. Here, this is for you. I'll teach you to talk to me that way. Nah, I don't think so. How much? Not my problem. Ain't nobody high and mighty in these halls, except in the yard. Don't you forget. <laughs> You're not supposed to be here. I'm not going to warn you again. Get out, or I'll call the guards. You're not supposed to be in here. You're not supposed to be in here. Guards, help! Trespasser! That's I'm warning you. Back off. I order the yard. Stop right there. Then pay with your blood. Please, someone do something. Over here! Expecting that, were you? Someone. 
You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Be so lenient. looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Have to go. should be talking to my steward. I'm the Jarl, not a party. Speak your business. No doubt requesting to garrison this man in my castle. How many times must I deny you? to my stool. Don't be daft. Proventus is my eyes. Just give me the letter. I presume once I have it, I can do as I please with it? Good. Now, I believe you have some business to conclude with my court wizard. Quickly now. Or would you prefer I let Whiterun fall to the Stormcocks? <laughs> you might be a guest in the Dragon's Starting to try my face. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities. Rest of the great warriors. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join them. I'm the Yaro, not a part. Speak your business. We can talk about that once this dragon is dealt with. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Thanks a lot. It seems this damnable conflict is everyone's passions of late. Me? I prefer my books and my spells. Remember, your mind is the best weapon you have.
quickly now, or would you... If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of White Run. No doubt General Tullius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side or the other. But that day has not come yet. We can talk about that once this dragon is dealt with. Make a move toward Balgruff, and you're dead. I've got my eyes on you. Oh, did you need something? You should be talking to my steward. Mm hmm? All this standing around is rubbish. We should be taking the fight to the storm clothes. Mm -hmm. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. You sh We can talk about that once this dragon is dealt with. Over here! Huh? Maybe you can help me. Of course. Thank you. Here, this is for you. The Jarl is, as you so can much. imagine, very busy. Perhaps I can assist you. If there's any more I can help you. Wait, I know you. There's no mistake. You're a wanted man. And it's time to pay for your crimes. All right, but you just watch yourself. Next time, I might not be so lenient. Ismir, it's true. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the Laureus farm. Who had a coffin and a cart with a broken wheel? I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sounds like you've had quite a journey, Utka. But you were gone long ago, Rusha. I got the news and maybe you weren't coming back. We have been in this land for so long. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you.
You should be talking to my steward. We can talk about that once this dragon is dealt with.
Feindal thinks he can move Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already lying, I can tell. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? Ha! Ezron's going to like you. Go talk to him at Fort Dawn Guard, southeast of Riften. He'll decide if you're Dawn Guard material. Nobody believes me, but I tell you, I saw a dragon! Did you hear? The Riverwood Trader You should come hear me play at the Sleeping Giant Inn. For a small sum, you can even pick the song. Truly? So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the Jarl and my mother. He needs to know about this. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood Trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. <laughs> you may be right. Camilla may see Feindel as little more than a friend. But why take chances? Here, give Camilla this letter. It's full of venomous nonsense. Tell her it's from Feindel. <laughs> Till next time. Is true. What would you have well, to do then? What's There's the no meaning time. of this interruption? Jarl Balgraf is not receiving this visitors. There's no time for rash action. I just think You'd we better need speak to the Jarl then. We act. I just... Who's this then? Well, I trust you have something vitally important to tell me. Important enough to interrupt me in the middle of council? Oh, yes? I wonder what that old busybody wants now. Whatever it is, it will have to wait until after I finish dealing with this dragon situation. You were at Helgen when it was attacked? You saw this with your own eyes? By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. <clears throat> well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. <laughs> Take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons.
Varengar. I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me? Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. You know, if you've this got the aptitude, priority now. you should join the main Anything we can use to fight this dragon, or dragons, we need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Yarl Balgruf, you seem to have found me.